The sales kit feature in Sage Mass 90 and Mass 200 ERP allows you to bring together multiple inventory items and sell them as a single item. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create and use sales kits. Before we get started, there are some important characteristics of kits that should be mentioned. Sales kits are typically set up to pull the component items from inventory when the kit is sold. The cost of a kit item is the sum of its component item costs. And you can configure a kit to print the component items on the sales order and invoice or print just the kit item. So with those preliminaries out of the way, let's now jump right in and take a look. In our example, we'll create a kit using component items that already exist in our inventory. Our first step is to create the kit item master record. To do this, we'll go to the menu tree and expand modules and select inventory management, main, item maintenance. For this tutorial, we'll create two kits, one that lists the component items on the sales order and invoice and one that only shows the kit item. Our first kit will include a stereo, stereo speakers, and speaker wire. Let's set up this item code as stereo kit. Our description will be CD stereo with speakers. All inventory items must have a product line and we'll select workstation furniture and accessories. And for the product type, we'll select kit and set our standard price at $2,800. Clicking on the additional tab, we'll set our Explode Kit Items option to Always. This ensures that when we sell the stereo kit, it will pull the component items from inventory. Now let's hit Accept to save the record. The second kit we'll use in our example is already set up. So let's bring up the record and verify the settings. So we'll enter the items code D1400 and it displays the Executive Desk Ensemble. On the main tab, we can see that the product type is set to kit and that it has a standard price. And moving to the additional tab, the Explode Kit Items option is set to Always. Let's now click Accept and close the window. Now we need to specify the items that make up the kit. To do this, we'll go to the menu tree and expand Kits and select Sales Kit Maintenance. Here we'll enter the item code Stereo Kit that we set up earlier as the kit item. For this kit, we'll leave the print detail box unchecked so that only the kit item will print on the sales order and invoice. Now let's select our component items using the item code lookup and we'll sort by description by clicking the description name and select item code stereo slash CD package. And we'll enter a kit quantity of one. We'll select our second component by again using the item code lookup sorting by description and we'll go over to the side and scroll down to the bottom and select item code speakers and enter a kit quantity of two. Now we'll select our final component item by once again opening the lookup, sorting by description and moving to the scroll bar we'll scroll down to the bottom and select speaker wire 25 and we'll enter a quantity of two and now we'll click Accept. Now let's review our second kit item by entering D1400 in the item code field. Note that this kit item has the print detail box checked so that the individual components of the kit will print on the sales order and invoice. Let's click Accept, close the window, and proceed to placing an order for a kit. To enter an order, we'll go to the menu tree and select Sales Order, Main, Sales Order Entry. We'll obtain the next order number by clicking the number sign. We'll leave the order date as the default and use the lookup to locate the customer Greater Alarm Company, which we'll highlight and click Select. Clicking over to the Lines tab, we'll add item code Stereo Kit onto the order with a quantity of one. After tabbing through the fields, note that the kit component items auto-fill. They auto-fill because we selected Always as the Explode Kit Items option in Inventory Maintenance. Now let's enter our second item onto the order, item code D1400, and a quantity of 1, and again we'll tab through the remaining fields so that the component items flow in. 
Now we'll click over to the Totals tab to complete the order. Let's click the Quick Print button to review how the sales order will print. We're reminded to save our changes and we'll click Yes. Using the standard form code, we'll change print comments to full and hit Preview. Here we have the sales order and note that the stereo kit lists only the kit item whereas the D1400 Executive Desk Ensemble lists the kit item and all of its individual components. Now let's print a picking sheet so we'll close the sales order and the sales order entry window and go back to the menu tree and here we'll select Picking Sheet Printing. We'll use the lookup to locate our order and scrolling down we'll select order number 174. And now we'll hit Preview. Here you can see that all of the component items for both kits print on the picking sheet allowing the warehouse to pull the items for packing and shipping. So to recap, the sales kit feature in Sage Mass 90 and Mass 200 ERP allows you to bring together multiple inventory items and sell them as a single item. This can be especially useful when you're running a sales promotion. Give us a call for assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage Mass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.